So, hey guys, today we got some, we got a cracker tin that's antique, and then filled is a bunch of antique, mostly kitchen items, I think they all are, except for one, um, that we're going to go through today. This is the one that wasn't antique, and it's because it's a travel cup, so it's really cool, it had a lid, and you used to be able to just put your drink or whatever you're using this for in here, and still in great weight great quality except it has a little crack but it's amazing and like we still use items like this today so that's awesome then we got a perfect biscuit maker for it's supposed to be a perfect circle they're a little off but it it looks nice and i'm sure we can make delicious biscuits with this if we felt creative and this torture device looking thing is a garlic squeezer, crusher, juicer. Press. Press. I was gonna get there. <laughs> I don't know, do you push it here or here? I... Yeah, very useful. Now this, I actually did use to make jello. This is a whisk, and you're, it's really cool because you can bang it, do, 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 and you can like whisk eggs up really well, or jello. This is handy, we need these today. They're still gone, but they're not good quality. This is a lemon squeezer to make lemon juice. I'm sure you could also use like oranges and limes. Might need to put this to the test. It like seems like it would work really well. It's got some strong campers. Then we got a meat beater, a tenderizer. That to tenderize you beat. These are still in use today. This one's just old, so. I can beat up meat. We'll do that one next. Okay. This. Although it looks like a mini pizza cutter, is a crust edger, crust decorator. So you would roll it and it would leave the indents that you see around the pie crust, which is really cool. And I'm sure this could be used for something, like maybe in the middle. Don't know. It looks cool though, so that's all that's important. Uh, we got a icebreaker. It, could, it also used to be used for coal. Uh, it's by Chicago Solve Coke. It's very, it's not too sharp actually. It's strong, it's heavy duty. We got a pickle and olive grabber. And sadly, I don't think it's strong enough, but I really wanted it to be able to pick up boiled eggs with this. But I guess we have to keep doing it the hard way. And second to last, we got a knife sharpener. So you, you would put the knife in here and rub it back and forth. And it'd be very sharp. Then we had a cheese grater. So you would put the cheese in here and you would freshly cut cheese. Maybe goat cheese. Good goat cheese. I love goat cheese. And that's it. Bye.